today. <laughs> Saturday. And today on Coffee and Conversation with your girl, Shakanya. Ooh, you get a minute. Go to that YouTube channel, Shakanya, and subscribe, guys. Look at some of the videos. And if you see anything that you like, Please don't hesitate to hit share. Yeah, I said I was going to stop begging and groveling, but I can't because the YouTube channel still ain't popping. Now, the Facebook good. Facebook, I'm at 24,000 followers. So, yeah, I'm good there. But I need to get my followers up on Instagram. I need to get my followers up on TikTok. And I need to get my followers up on my YouTube channel. So, I guess I got to start back groveling and begging. Can you please go to my channel and hit subscribe? Look at some of the videos, please, and share them. So, y'all, today, today we're talking about goals. <laughs> so, King, I'm kind of talking about goals. Ain't nothing going on. We just finished talking about goals. And you know what? If that's the type of attitude you have, when it comes to the goals that you set for yourself, <laughs> I ain't talking to you either. I'm not talking to you. I'm not. Because if this is not what you want to do, and me talking about it, and me asking you about it, aggravates your soul, then obviously you ain't you ain't worried about them. So shit, why should I be? You know what I'm saying? So I'm not even talking to you. <laughs> I'm not talking to the people who have not started yet. Meaning that you made that list years ago when we first started and you ain't did nothing on that list. You have five things that you left on there. You have not completed and crossed off not one thing. I ain't talking to you either. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not talking to the people that has gotten started. Yep, they at the basic, they on the ground level. They they started, they haven't been able to scratch nothing off the list yet, but they damn sure got a good head start on what they trying to do. They meal prepping, they trying to lose weight. Yep, they walk around the block once a week. They, you know, they trying. They started, they registered the name for the business. They ain't did nothing else with it, but they did register it, you know. So, you know, you ain't going back to school yet, but you did look up some places. <laughs> you did look up some places and you toyed around with the scheduling and the finances and if it could and would you try to do it. I, I, I ain't talking to you either. Not today. Not today. That's good that you started, though, yeah. And shit, all the people who down got started and they on their way, they doing good, they successful, their business is making a profit now. They've met the goal of weight loss that they was trying to meet. They looking good, what they say, feel good. They looking good and they feeling good. Those people that went back to school, they graduating now. Yeah, everything is working out. You did, you stuck to it, you follow, you, 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 what you do, you, what you do, what they say, follow the process. Trust the process. You did that, yeah. You stuck with your plan. You, I ain't talking to you either. Today, I'm talking to the people who did do it, did succeed, was making a profit in the business, lost the weight, got the degree, and then something happened and they fell off. Yeah, yeah, you did all that. Yeah, you, you did all, you was there. Yeah. How are you doing? I know, I know, I know. Are you starting from scratch? You're not even using plan A and B, you on plan, <laughs> you on plan C. <laughs> Yeah, how you doing? Right? Shit, the first time around, you had to remove a whole lot of barriers. Now you got a whole different set of barriers now. Because, see, you made it to that level. So you accumulated some things. You went far. Now you got a different set of hurdles and barriers to go. <laughs> Fix it, Jesus. 
Is your situation and your circumstances different now that's making it difficult for you to get back on track and get the plan back going and get back started and get back on the weight loss plan and get back? Woo, thanks to Jesus. Yeah. You might need to talk to a therapist. You didn't think about that? Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't mean that you suffer from any type of mental illnesses, so you can't say, woo, woo, click, nope, you can't put it, because I don't know why people want to associate it just with that, but shit, you might just need somebody to help you create another plan. Yep, yep, the people around you, they not, they not on that, you know, they nine to fivers, or they, they, they comfortable with where they are, they, they okay with being big, having a big back, they, they not trying to go back to school. These are the people you surrounded yourself with, yeah, unfortunately. So you might have to go outside of that circle. Yeah, like I said, if you're the smartest person in your circle, you need to <laughs> get up out of there, fam. You a new home or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't be the only one that know everything, right? So, yeah, you might need to talk to somebody that's biased, somebody that don't know you, somebody that's outside of that circle, and somebody who has the expertise to teach you and show you how to get back on track. Because you got the means to do it because you did it before. You was there. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't like you can't do it, right? But shit, you might be in a situation where you had a goal to lose 50 pounds. You lost the 50 pounds, right? And shit, you done gained 70. Huh. Ooh, I know. That can weigh on you. Yeah, that can mess with your confidence, your self-esteem. I mean, it can get to you. It can get up under your skin and get to you mentally. Yeah, you might need to talk to somebody. Yeah, you started your business. Shit, you had a million dollar corporation. You was doing things. You was making it happen, yeah? You made a couple of bad business decisions and shh, lost it all, right? You don't even have $10 to start up. You don't have $50 to even register a new business. Yeah, they can get to you. <laughs> get up under your skin. You can't even ask nobody. Why? Because those people in your circle, they wasn't. They don't know nothing. They going to work. <laughs> they ain't trying to help you with this business. This business thing. Cockamammy business thing. Man, you better get you a job. Fix it, Jesus. Fix it. Yeah. You already went back to school. Yeah. But now, shit, the, the job that you want requires you to go back and get you another degree. So now you got to figure out how you going to do that. You got, got older now. <laughs> Times has changed. Situation, circumstances is different now. Yeah, you might need to go talk to somebody about that. Yeah. This segment, we're normalizing mental health. Yeah. We want you to include that in your daily activity. Hell, if you got a doctor's appointment at 3, you got a therapy appointment at 4, you got a nail appointment at 6.30. So we're going to normalize it. So, yeah, if you're finding difficulty... Starting over, getting back on track. Yeah. Reach out to somebody. Yeah. And that's it. You know, it's Saturday. I don't come on on no Saturday. But that's it, y'all. Coffee conversation with your girl. I'm about to run around. I'm about to run around the track at my recreation center. Do you utilize the community centers and stuff in your area? Hey, Paula. Good morning, baby. Like, yeah, I know they closed a lot of them down, but they actually opened a lot of them back up, right? And if you go there, you will be surprised what you find. Like the one at the corner of my house, they always doing activities. The police is always doing something there for the community. Um, they built and, and, and fixed up on it. So it looks so pretty, you know, on the outside landscaping and everything. They put a track there so that we can utilize the track for free. You know what I'm saying? They have a gym inside, so yeah, you'll be surprised. Go into some of your local recreation centers and just see what some of the things that they have to offer and take advantage of some of them. Right now, I'm about to take advantage of the track that's outside of my eyes. I'm gonna run a little bit. I don't feel like going to the gym. I don't feel like doing all that workout and lifting weights and stuff, but I gotta do something to get my heart pumping and my body rolling, because it take a minute now that I'm up in age. So that's what I'm about to do. So enjoy y'all Saturday. I'm out. Mwah.